tonight for your patience as we get these results in and for all of you today especially and throughout this campaign who have worked so hard to make this possible who have gotten text after text and text from me um, to the point where I think that I maybe scare some of you um, <laughs> But this night is not. This night is not. Oh wow, this is very fancy. <laughs> not about me. I want to um, proudly, <laughs> proudly introduce um, the woman who I am so incredibly happy to work for and work with. Um, she is the best boss, best business partner. I don't know. I've ever had. She is the type of colleague who, when you're up late printing lists for canvassers, will make you waffles, even if they don't really look that good. <laughs> they taste too good. They taste too good. Um, it's been such an incredible journey with you, um, and thank you for always being the type of person that, um, you know, it never was that I worked for you, it was always that we worked together and we did this together. So thank you so much for being um, my, for being so, such a role model, for being um, such an aspiration. Um, and I'm so excited for you to be our next state representative. <laughs> for some very positive results, but I am just so overjoyed and so overwhelmed by each and every single one of you who is here and who has been here even before this campaign started. Obviously, my parents, Matt, we've been together talking about this for a very long time, and we'll get into that in a minute, but I have obviously my speeches written out and I will give my victory speech. We did it. We did it together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. I also want to thank Ben and Christian for being part of this race and for the important contributions that their race has made to our democracy in the electoral process. We had a really great campaign season starting back in, you know, around January. Tonight's result, yes, please clap for them. Please clap for them, seriously. You will never meet nicer opponents in any uh, contested race, I can guarantee you that. Tonight's results are proof that Massachusetts is a state where everyone cares about each other and we are committed to making the critical investments to make sure that everyone has what they need to thrive. That's what I've dedicated my career to and that is what this campaign has always been about. Collaborating, listening to each other, working to e with each other and respecting each other to get things done on behalf of everyone in our state, particularly those who are the most marginalized and those who are the most vulnerable among us. It is because of the hard work and sacrifices that each one of you has made that this campaign is why we're celebrating tonight. I'm deeply grateful to each one of you in the many ways that you helped me. There are many people I need to thank. I'm not gonna do a whole long litany of names. You know what your role has been in my life. You know what your role has been in this campaign. But I really need to thank my family, my dad, Bob, back there. My mom, my mom, Debbie, up here. You probably saw the cutest baby you've ever seen, my niece, Anna. She had to go home and go to sleep. And my sister, Carrie, and my brother-in-law, Jay, for everything that you've done. I obviously need to thank my children, Cam and Joey. You have put up with disruptions in our routine. You've put up with strategy meetings and random people walking into our house because they think you're not home. 
<laughs> and you ate your well more than your fair share of pizza and Chinese food and sandwiches. So don't worry, I will be making lots of vegan pot pie to make up for it and calzones. And where's Rebecca? Crappy dinners. We got to get back to those, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Matt Cornelis, right here. I met Matt 14 years ago at the FPC Church in Andover. And we got to talking about politics, and I said, I want to run for office someday. So we've been concocting and hatching this plan for 14 years. So thank you. Rebecca, you gave me the boost I needed to get going and the confidence to plow through and to face the challenging challenges of campaigning. And I had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful kitchen cabinet that served as an advisory board. Katie, Dave, are they here? Did they leave? They left. Okay. Uh, Tina, you, you're still here, and Kevin, and Lawrence had to leave as well. You brought wisdom, in, you brought lots of strategic advice to this campaign throughout, sometimes advice that we didn't always want to listen to. Um, that's what people do, it's kind of like being pregnant, everybody has an opinion about what you should do with the baby. The baby was the campaign, what we should be doing with it along the way. But you made us a stronger campaign and you made me a stronger candidate. And for that, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful. Emily, of course, thank you to you. You brought wisdom, intuition, organization, and writing skills well beyond your years. And you have my undying love and devotion for that. You really do. <laughs> because I would not have done this without you. You're amazing. I look forward to late night waffles, Leslie Nope style for sure, over the next few months. And some of the other candidates running across the state, when I said we had a waffle maker in our headquarters, they said, you're probably the only one who has a waffle maker in your headquarters. I said, I'm gonna bring it to the state house, just you wait. <laughs> to all the friends who gave me a shoulder to cry on, a place to dispel my frustrations along the way, and Stefan, who gave blood, sweat, and tears along the way as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To all my door knockers, you all deserve a new pair of shoes and a pedometer as a token of how many miles you walked for this campaign. And to those who addressed literally thousands of letters, Betsy and my mom, Linda and Cheryl, tons of people, you deserve a massage therapist for your hands and your back. Thank you to the folks who donated, whether it was $5 or $500. Your contributions gave us the tools that we needed to make this win possible. And thank you to all of the advocacy organizations, the people who believed in me who are outside of this room, Planned Parenthood, and a lot of the uh, environmental organizations, um, and also the municipal leaders who endorsed me early for Barbara Italian and Corey Atkins, of course, yeah. our previous state representative. As many of you know, I have aspired to run for office for the past 25 years, and I was called to serve my community as a social worker and a health advocate because of the injustices I witnessed growing up as a child. I also saw a lot of failures of leaders around us who were not standing up for those who are the most marginalized and vulnerable. This infuriated me, but it also instilled in me a sense that I really need to, to be a different kind of leader and a true advocate. We have been so lucky in our district to have the leadership of Corey Atkins, who brought this same sense of duty and commitment to her work. I am grateful to you for your role model, for the way that you've mentored me throughout this whole campaign, and for your 18 years of service to our district. Thank you, Corey. We were joking last week that I have incredible shoes to fill. Luckily, we are the same size. <laughs> Come on over. I, I, I'm not wearing heels. <laughs> so if you see me sporting some new shoes, they might be Corey's. And now that you are retiring and getting the much time deserve that, that you deserve with your family, uh, we need a leader who will continue in your footsteps and who has the values to bring this district forward and deeply believe in the community and what we can do together here. So as your state representative, I will always strive to ensure that Massachusetts is working to fulfill its promise of respect, dignity, and justice for all. I hope you will continue to be part of the campaign. We are just beginning. We still have to get through November 6th, and I want you to stay with me as I'm legislating up at the State House. 
I thank you for your friendship and your love and your support and the miles you put on your body and your cars. And I just, I love you all. So thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you.